Finally, let's talk about this clinical senior scenario. You have 24 year old female, or sorry, male patient presented with easy bruising, fatigue, fever. That's mean acute presentations. When you will look at hemoglobin platelets are decreased, but white blood cells are increased, which are 40. What you need to know first, go back to the physical examinations here the, here there is no mention of any clinical physical examinations so you will do this approach on physical examination lymph node you will write lymph node and spleen okay splenomegaly if you will find lymph node and splenomegaly positive that means the patient has lymph node and splenomegaly positive so you will you will go to the physical examination and you will see lymph node and splenomegaly whether positive it means a diagnosis or negative it means another diagnosis okay okay go to the blood film what you will see on the blood film when you will see a patient has lymph node and splenomegaly positive that's mean the blood film usually will be usually you will see in the blood film a typical lymphocytes okay a typical lymphocyte a patient with acute presentation male lymph node and splenomegaly positive that's mean ebv virus which is infectious mononucleosis okay and this a typical lymphocyte responsible for an increasing white blood cells count in this patient on the other hand, when you will see blood film blast elevated more than 20% and the patient lymph node and splenomegaly positive with acute presentation, this usually means you are dealing with leukemia, right? Okay, now you are dealing with leukemia and mostly you are dealing with acute, with acute leukemia. Now, according to the age, although the age may be sometimes overlap, but according to age, you are mostly dealing with acute myeloid leukemia. So, how you know that? Also, go to the blood film or the blast type. If you will see, if you will see on the blast, if you will see on the blast, blast, sorry, or roads on the blast, that means it is you are dealing with AML. Most common type that it is not sorry most common type the, the type that you have that you will see a lot of the questions on the exams is ABL which is M3 this is usually presented with DIC features that's mean you will see PT and PTT in this patient in increase you will see bleeding bleeding from IV sites you will see bleeding from IV site of bleeding acute presentation DIC AML or ROTS positive if you will see or ROTS negative that means you will see another marker which is TDT here the or ROTS here the or ROTS negative now you are dealing with ALL okay now you are dealing with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and again ALL could be pre B and pre T pre T the same topic that we discussed in the first video so the reason of this case i want i don't want you just to focus on an acute leukemia as differential diagnosis but i want you also to remember another differential diagnosis which is ebv virus infectious mononucleosis also could be presented with acute symptoms also could be presented in young adult male or female but keep in more in your mind you have three differentiation First, you will have lymph node and splenomegaly in this patient. Second, you will have atypical lymphocytes. Okay.